So I got COVID at Word Life. And there will be a separate blog all about Word Life and how great it was and what God has taught me. But I think it's important to have a bit of reflection time on my experience of COVID, particularly on a sabbatical as we are coming out of COVID. People keep saying to me that it's good timing, it's forced me to rest at the beginning of my sabbatical, and also I've had time to get better before a lot of the travelling starts. But I did test positive at Word Alive. Now, we know that that was always going to be a risk. Um, a lot of us knew that going in. It is loads of people coming together from all over the UK and praising God in song, hearing from his word, having a great time all together. Now, I praise God that um, my um, cabin mates didn't get ill. And I praise God that I've stayed relatively well. Um, I've not needed a couple of days in bed. I've needed a few naps a day. Um, and I um, had a really bad sore throat. My hearing went weird. Um, and I really was feeling pretty rubbish. Um, but actually, it's not that feeling rubbish that has worried me. It's not getting ill. It's not the possibility of ending up in hospital, maybe even dying because of asthma. That's not worrying me at all, actually. What I've really learned from COVID is about other people's reactions and about actually what it must have been like for those lepers that we hear about in the Bible. These guys are all alone. They're unclean. They're ostracised. And that must have been so difficult. In fact, I think from having COVID, I've learned way more about that than I did in any of the lockdowns. Because you would see people and you would have to step back, stay away, step back. Don't catch the COVID that I've got. And actually to feel um, that, uh, to see all those other people that were alive hugging and singing and spending time together and sitting on my COVID bench that um, friends really ha happily and kindly put me together, put all the seats out, got me outside, enabled me to spend time with others, but at a distance. Actually experiencing that. And then when another one of our party got COVID at the end of the week and she came to me and hugged me, it gave me a real powerful sense of that experience of Jesus that those who had leprosy must have felt that incredible feeling of somebody coming to you and being with you and not being scared to get close to you. Now, obviously, my uh, friends and um, family and others that were there with me, my church family, they weren't running away from me because I'm unclean and, and unworthy. We were keeping away from each other to keep one another safe, to keep one another well. And that's just a fraction of what it must have been like for those lepers who were cast out of society. I just had to eat my tea outside for a couple of days. It really was on a whole other level. But to experience that friend, Susan, catch COVID, come to me and hug me on that last day, was something else because that's what Jesus did. He came into the mess. He came into the pain. He got up close and personal with people who, humanly speaking, could infect him, could get him killed. And he draws near to them. Like Susan did when she couldn't catch it because she already had it and hugged me. Jesus came close to those people and I am so grateful to God for that experience for helping me experience and see what that gospel message is more and more despite what was annoying and inconvenience what meant that I couldn't go to some seminars I really wanted to because Jesus meets us where we are God has reminded me through that that Jesus 
comes to us. He comes to us when we were far off, when we didn't want anything to do with him. He comes to us. And so to be reminded of that was really exciting and a real blessing. And I'm sure you're just reading this, thinking, uh, hearing this and, and thinking, oh, poor Etty, she got like a week off and she's ill already. But there are real blessings in that, as well as that real learning about uh, what it was like for those lepers. Um, I've got it now. I'm unlikely to get it again while I'm travelling around. Uh, I could, but I'm un less likely. That means there's less worry about getting it just before I go to Sydney or just before I head down to London in a couple of weeks' time. I'll be well for heading to Oxford next weekend. So it's a real blessing timing-wise, but also a real blessing at the beginning of a sabbatical because it means I have to sit, I have to think. I can't do much. I can't go out. I can't go and see all my friends. I have to really rest and I'm not good at that. Resting is doing for me and to physically have to rest is really a good challenge. I've been really lucky in that mum and dad uh, hung around and have looked after me. Mum's had Covid too so uh, we've both been uh, feeling rough but she's getting better too and, and dad has been able to really care for us and that's been such a huge blessing. I can see God's hand over my Covid um, massively um, down to the only coming with one other person in the car down to Word Alive and um, her being willing to take me back um, me being not that ill me being able to sleep um, all of those things um, yeah I am grateful to God they've not been fun I've been irritable I've been grumpy with my mum and dad but God has used what has been an annoyance, what could have been me being really poorly and really cross about it, to teach me more about him. And I'm I'm really grateful uh, for that. I will do a Word Live vlog. Um, it'll be another couple of days, I think, uh, before I'm up to getting my brain around all that video editing. But I just wanted to get something out there so you know I'm uh, still uh, getting stuff out there. still want to tell you all about what God told me at Word Live. I'm so excited for that. Um, but I probably won't film that till tomorrow. So over and out, have a great rest of your day and uh, God bless. See you later.